welcome to another episode of Hooks and Dice. I'm Lena Kroka. Um, I went back to doing the mermaid blanket, and I have one row left. Let's see if I can show it without dumping stuff. Got it right side up, too. How about that? <laughs> so, this is basically what it's going to look like. Um, got the fins done on the tail. Um, there's just a little bit left to do on this side here, up top. And then let me look at the pattern real quick. Ah, a bit along the side here. And then all I have to do is add the fringe, and this baby will be ready to ship to Norway. Uh, I don't, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to ship it to Norway or wait until December when I go and just take it with me. Uh, I'll probably ship it just because it would be one less thing to have to take with me on the plane. And of course she would get it sooner and so she would be able to enjoy it sooner. She being uh, my future niece-in-law. <laughs> so after that, I'm going to do a lovely bag for my future mother-in-law because we did an art trade. She made a pair of amazing owl socks for my daughter, and in exchange, I'm making her a Southwest pattern handbag. Well, no, it's more of a tote, and it's in black and white, and I will put the link to the pattern in the, the credits, and where we, you know, the information on the video itself. I can talk, I swear. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous pattern. We'll be doing it in black and white. And I, I might make one for myself. It's, it's that pretty. I just love it. And I have plenty of yarn to use. So um, I don't know if I'll do mine in black and white. I think I'll do it in other colors just so that we don't ever mix up our bags because I'll be living with my future mother-in-law and her mother and Tommy. Three generation house. It's amazing. Um, I don't know that they really do that here in the States, but um, they do it in other countries, other cultures, and I just think it's wonderful. So I'm very honored to be allowed to become part of that family. Uh, Monday games went well. I don't recall if I've uh, made a video since it happened, but my character was killed by a gargoyle. <laughs> she was, they, I don't know if we were meant to fight them or not, but we were saving a fairy dragon and those of you that game with us are very familiar with the concept of the fairy dragon. We have used it in all three of the campaigns that I'm in. Well, I may actually in four, but um, I've used it in my campaign, and Tommy has used it in one of his campaigns, and then of course one of our players on the Wednesday campaign has a fairy dragon. So, uh, but that's straying from the topic a bit. <laughs> um, so we went to rescue the fairy dragon. My character's a bard. You know, she did kick some butt, but she got murdered by this gargoyle. And I was having rotten luck that day. Any and all of my rolls were just terrible. And the NPC who had the power to not summon the gods, but kind of implore them and get things done, she tried her best and she finally managed to revive me at the very last possible moment. Brought me back from the brink of death. But... <sighs> <laughs> You know, it's like, geez, you go to save somebody, no good deed goes unpunished. Um, Wednesday games. I have a little, I'm a little fuzzy on our Wednesday games, and I don't know why. I know that we fight critters, and that Ada kicks some serious butt. Ada is my character. Um, but the details on the games are hazy, I don't know what it is that I can't remember about them, but I really should start asking the DM to help me write down notes about it. 
you know, give me clues as to what we were doing before I record my episodes so I can give you guys more details about the game. But it's also tricky because it's one that people might play, so I've got to be careful on how much detail I share. So, um, Friday Games, we have a new addition. John has joined us, and we... <laughs> I, I probably made a mistake asking him to join us by pretending to steal uh, Tommy's character's stuff because he he plays his character so well, you know, to the point of why should we trust you? Why should we let you join our group? And I'm like, well, we kind of have to because, <laughs> you know, we want the player to join us, but... Uh, he just was not making a good case for himself and he kept digging himself in deeper. And so it was it was kind of hilarious trying to figure out a reason to allow him to go with the group. And they finally found one and he had a two-part trial, so to speak. Um, one of them was actual trials like uh, walking across broken glass, walking across a lot, not a lava pit, listen to me, uh, hot coals, <laughs> a couple of old old kung fu style uh, Shaolin uh, trials, like lifting the iron cauldron with filled with rocks over burning coals so that you are branded with the dragon and the tiger. Um sitting between the two em enormous sticks of incense and having to follow the finger and not turn your head and get burned. Um, let's see. Oh, the bees. Yes, there's a chamber of bees where you have to sit still or you risk uh, frenzying the bees. And then uh, the rack, which is pretty straightforward. You know, one of your companions preferably your significant other, is put on the rack and you're having to make, you know, persevere through their pain. And the last one is a bath of ice water that you have to stay in it for, for an hour if you can. So, pretty tricky trials and those aren't even the main trials of trying to become a god or goddess so <laughs> it's I don't know if it's fun for my players or if it was tedious um, I hope to get some feedback from them after they see this video uh, hopefully it was fun it was fun for me I, I enjoyed it and and much thanks to Tommy for helping me figure out how to execute the trials because math me no likey <laughs> let's be honest you know I'm pretty smart but I am not very strong in math, so thanks again, Tommy, for helping me figure that one out. Uh, like I said, Halloween is coming, and we get to have a special Halloween episode since it falls on a Monday. That's going to be a lot of fun. I was going to dress up as a fairy, but I ran out of tool when making the tutu, so... I will probably be dressed as a movie star. I've put on all my glam that I own. <laughs> uh, and uh, I get to hand out candy this year, which is exciting for me because I never get to hand out candy. So um, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and have a great day.